G'day, how you going? I'm Ian Apples, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my tutorial. I'll get a size on the canvas there before we get started. Sometimes I forget to do this. And I'll get some colours running up the screen as well. Now we're going to do a bit of a lake with some different sky colours in this one. And I want to show you different ways of adding reflections in the water when something is far away and closer. Uh, and we'll put those bands of reflections in the water and that's something I want to teach you in today's exercise Okay, a few lovely colors here and it's going to make someone go You know what? I like that. That's what sort of effect it's going to have on people So come on over here and I'll just show you what I've got scribbled in and we'll get right into it All right, I've got my horizon line. I never want it too high if anything I've got it here and I've got some trees, some foreground trees, and we're going to have the beautiful sky, different colours. Now, when something is far away from you, as water reflections go, um, they're taking the reflection of the sky or what's above it. And the, the closer they get to you, it's pretty much like that. And it's coming like that okay that's pretty much what it's like on the water so i'll just get started with me craft white there that's just craft paint you buy from the two dollar shops your art supply shops it's just softer consistency than what you get out the tube now i'm going to just put that in my putter on a brush and i want to incorporate that into my craft paint now depending on the area where you live around the world if it's dry damp warm hot or cold climate is depending on how much of this you're going to need in your paint and obviously the drier the weather the more you need the damper the weather the less to nothing you need so i'll just get this on to the sky area now where, where's me can you see these trees here i'll just dance around them because i want to have that raw when I'm painting those actual colors on there because painting on top of this even when you dry it can be a bit rubbery and frustrating so that's why I always paint to it when I know where I'm going to paint if you watch the whole tutorial you'll know what's up ahead if you want to follow along and paint me paint with me now I've got that all in there simple as that and then we'll just stroke it left and right there we go now I want a grey sky, but I don't want it just pure grey. Pure grey is a bit. So I'm going to add a bit of blue in there just for the grey bit. Just to blueify the grey. And this will be the top half of the sky. So I'll get all this crisscrossed into there. Bring it down. Beautiful. Bring it down to the horizon there. Beautiful. I'm pushing it in with the brushes. I'm slapping it in there. Getting into the teeth of the canvas, get it right up against me bushes there, all over. Now I'll stroke this left and right. So I've got a grey sky there. Pretty moody, pretty quite weathery. Now I've got Indian yellow and red golds, or if you don't have red gold, a deep orange. I want to start with the Indian yellow and get some of this in the horizon. So pretty much from there to about here I want to come up to about that height there like that okay that's where I want to bend with it because I still want a lot of gray weathery attitude going up in the sky there so we'll paint this left and right with the horizon line like that just like that get a bit more darker down there with the yellow heavier more heavier there we go now I'm going to grab some of that red gold so I haven't even washed the brush. I'll get, I'll start with a band of this first. See if I can get a band of this flavour. Yeah. All the way there. Yeah, look at that, eh? How's that looking? Cool. Now I'm just picking up some more of that paint on the brush. It's mixing with the yellow. And I want to come here now. And kind of do that across the yellow there. Now I'm going to blend that, blend that, blend it. Beautiful. I'm liking that. I'm liking it. I'll put a little bit more here. That's it. All right, where's that blue? I'll pinch that blue. Thank you very much. 
Now I'm going to make some of those purpley coloured clouds. So I've got the cerulean blue and I've got some permanent linzerin here and I'm just going to keep putting that linzerin into that cerulean blue until I get that purpley dark colour that I'm looking for in silhouette for the clouds up there. And I'm being sure to blend it right into my brush as I'm brush mixing. And that's why I've picked up a flat brush because I want to kind of just do, see here where it's, I want to weld it on there. So I'll, I'll just get a big body of a cloud. I'm, I'm dancing it on because if I pick up some more, if I rub it in, that paint's still wet. Okay, so I'm going to see it's going to pick up all the white underneath. So you've got to be careful just how you do this. Uh, we'll get some more tracing out here. Trace in there, pick up some more. And this is just a lot of this stuff. Nice thin little slithers of it. Get some more on my brush. Some slithers of it. See little rib ribbons of it going here and there and everywhere. There. Now just where my trees are going to be, I want a darker band of this there to create the distance and that, that paint's still wet. So I get this right down there, up there. And I'm gonna scrumble that out into the yellowy, because the sky's still wet. And I want to try and keep that level. Not these lines, I mean level, straight. Straight across the painting like so. And maybe something here. Get it to the edge of the brush again. I mean the tip of the brush. Yeah, I'll just make that a big one coming off there. Now I'm going to pick up the orange and yellow. I'll grab the yellow first because it's the lighter of the two. I just want to get something dancing in the grey half of the sky. So probably something here, just a bit of yellow, stamp it on in an artistic way. <laughs> Come off the painting there like that. I'm just going to softly get the bottom of that looking a bit more artistic instead of just dangulatingly on there. There we go, that up there. So I'm just picking up the red gold now. I didn't wash the brush, I've just bombed it up. And I want to make that cloud now on top of that orange, I mean that yellow. Get it above that yellow. And we're just kind of putting a body of cloud here. There we go, get down there a bit. Like that. Blend it, keeping it parallel. Horizontal, I mean, with the horizon line. And just a little bit over here, a little bit of a tasing bit there. There we go. Now I've used that same brush again. I'm not happy with this. I want to get some, there we go. Just darker elements down there on a horizontal manner, in a horizontal manner, just like that. Now I'm grabbing that craft paint again. Bit of retarder mixed with here. Now my horizon line, see it's here. All the way there, okay? I'm not gonna paint this all the way up to there. I just want this for the water. Okay? Just so we can get some beautiful reflections in our water. I wanna paint the water and then I'm gonna paint the land. Is that what I'm doing Ian? Yeah. So 
So I've got the sky and I've got here. So I want to put this reflection down closer to here. And as it, the water comes closer to us, I want here. So I'll grab some of this here. And there's me orange as well, the red gold. And now I want to get this flavour in the water. Get it kissed right against there, that'll do. Right across there. That'll do, that'll do it. Now I'm picking up just the red gold on the same brush and I'm getting a lot of that to about this degree here, about there and scalloped into that yellow. And that's gonna make up for the those colors in the sky, beautiful. Now see these dark colors, they're gonna come into play in a minute. Now I've got the grey again for the sky, which was there, but it dried up. I'll get a bit of blue in there, not too much, just to get that bottom half done. I'll put a bit of water with that. I'll spray them in case I need them to come back to them, which is that part of the sky. And we're putting this in there, getting that to... Now paint that on before you bring the yellow back into it. I almost brought the yellow back into it. You want that on its own merit, that colour. There we go. Now I'll start merging it into the orangey colour. There we go. And I'll use a smaller brush because we've got to radiate some of those reflections into that lower half of the water. Now this blue that I mix with the permanent linserin we want that to get those dark reflections out near the horizon line into the water as well. So where's my horizon line? There it is there. Now I want to stamp this in, in lineal pieces like this before I brush it on. I don't want to brush it on and then lose it because this is going to come out here in the water. So this is just easy for a beginner to do. If you're an advanced beginner and you, you know how to get something like this going, you don't have to do what I'm doing exactly here. I'm just showing a, a beginner how to do some simple bands in the water. That'll do. Uh, now I'm going to pull it, try and control the pulling so it doesn't get, to get lost. That'll do, that'll do. I haven't lost it, it's still there. Now, what I got down here is I got three separate piles. They're all the colours in the water up there, but I'm using a flat brush, and so I'm not stopping and starting washing. I've got a brush for each colour. And what we want to do is something very simple. Now, that simpleness is, I'll go back to, let's say, this one here. This colour here, let me get that into the brush. Now see, we're going to come from here, but we want to start putting ripple marks into this grey colour. Now if it's very wet, which that is, I'm going to dry it because it'll, it'll work better. Now I've dried that and we're going to Put these bands so I, I come from that orange okay and then start radiating it out into this color here I'm getting a double line there I don't really want to double line it might look a bit arty but I don't really want a double line now we'll grab the dark I oh, know the gray color we need the gray color but we have the dark color up there so I might as well while I've got it on my brush we'll start using this out here just getting a lot of this way out here. There's not going to be much of a reflection shown in the water out there. But this is heavily reflecting that dark colour you can see on the water out here. Then we'll, we'll slowly, as it comes towards the bottom of the painting, it'll get more less what I mean less is not so tight together. It's tight up there and then I'll start doing some 
bigger bands here. Now we want that grey colour. So we grab this grey colour now and we'll start putting this banding into the orange there. And then we simply grab that colour, some of the yellow here, we can bring that here. And something like that. That is a bit red there. All right, I'm going to grab me bullshit stick so I can get a straight line across me horizon there. I've just mixed up some burnt umber and a bit of black in it. Just put a bit of black in it. I want to get the bottom here. It's, it's a little bit inky, but I want to get this nice and straight across there. I've dried everything with the hairdryer. Let's get that across there for now. And then we'll... That was just a flat brush. Now I'm picking up a hog bristle. Uh, what do you call it? A hog bristle fill bit. And I just want to get this all stamped in for now. Bits of black and burnt umber up in the sky there like that. Get some air in between the tops of them, make it look like nature has been doing its thing out there on your canvas. Now I want to just draw a bird flying away. So uh, I'll put it about here. <clears throat> so we'll get a bit of a, I'm doing it in white, a bit of a, a round ball with a pull down tear at the bottom of it. Okay, and then from the body, sort of come up a little bit around this and make it come to a point, bush. This is just going to be a simple bird. Hopefully it'll look like a, a water bird. And we'll come from about here, there. This is just mapping it in, and then I'll fix it up. Okay, so we're gonna come there and a, probably to a tip now we'll thicken it up thicken that up there this wing probably could have been a bit bigger for the body's sake and we'll get something up the back of here And I'll just make sure that's solid enough because I want to add some, just some colour into it. Okay, now I'm just grabbing the burnt umber on that same brush and I just want to get some, let's say from about here, some shadow into that bird. See, this, is, this paint's going to stand out. Get some more water in that. On top of that white. That's why I painted it all white first. Just light, get up here a bit more. Dirty area there. So it's kind of, what's going on here in my mind and on the canvas? It's kind of, that's its bum, its head's looking down as it's going forward towards the horizon line there, okay, like that. And it's just a matter of backwards and forwards with this shaded colour and the white till it looks distortedly like a bird, I suppose. Could probably even get the tiniest bit of black. A bit dark around here. And a bit of black in his body there somewhere. Just want the slightest, we'll get some in his body there. I just dried the bird so the black will stand out. And 
and then we can go back with the white and just tip his wings or do something to give it a bit of distinction that it's kind of looks like a real bird. There we go. I might put a maybe a little bit of white down here. Now I've got my liner brush and I am putting just some subject matter out here with the black. Maybe some hints of civilization out there. Yeah. That'll do. Just a bit of nonsense. How's that look? Okay, I'm looking at it, but I'm not quite happy with this. So what I'm going to do, just a quick fix. I've grabbed me forest green. Oh, I don't want too much water in it. And just turn the lights on with a bit of cadmium yellow. And we'll just give that a green flavor out there. See how it looks. So this is a darker colour and I will highlight it, leave some of that brown there though, that'll act as the darks in our normal green foliage. So I'm just going to go all over there. Now you work out if you want to leave yours brown, a different value, or go green and just do green from the word go from the time where I put the brown in there, okay? I'm not quite happy with the brown the way it's looking, so I'm just going to give it its own temperament of green. and. And I think it's going to be all right. The greens and the oranges and the browns will be all right. Bit of a offset for each other, I suppose. I don't know. So I've just got simple forest green, the slightest bit of cad yellow to turn the lights on in it, and then I'll highlight it. So it looks like snot at the moment, but we'll turn snot into bullshit. So we'll just start mixing this with the yellow now, what's in there. Grab some water. While well, I grab the water, for those people who are just starting out, thin paint sticks on top of the thicker paint and it'll transfer from your brush a lot easier as well. And we'll gingerly highlight this, trying to get it looking like umbrella shape, but leaving a lot of dark within there, okay. I don't know where I was going with this painting, it's just turned out the way it was. I had something going, but this has just totally changed, but it's, it's a piece of art. And we've got a bird the main character in this is that bird just flying off. He's going home. He's had enough. Or he's about to embark on the longest journey of his life. And become a member of my art group. There's a link for my art group below. Answer the questions and say you saw me on YouTube. Now I'll just put an autograph on here and then we'll whack a frame on it and see how she looks. So like I said, check out the links in the description below. Share, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Um, there's a link to all my art that's available for sale. There's a link to my art group page. Request to become a member there. And I want to thank all my patrons who support my channel every month. Thank you very much. And if you want to be a patron and support my channel every month, the link is below. Click that and become a patron as well. Okay, I'll whack a frame on that. Yeah, it's a good painting. The bird is just subtle, but enough. We've got distance, we've got a different color of a sky going on. It's sort of got that atmosphere of see you later until tomorrow type of feeling, okay? And you know what? I know you can do that. I hope you enjoyed that. I had fun painting that, and there's a bit of everything in there for a beginner to learn. And if you like what I'm doing, be sure to tell your friends. But if you don't like what I'm doing on my channel, you tell everybody, all right? Goodbye, good luck. Good on ya!